Hi, this is James Lee. Welcome to Advanced Python Programming. This is a class where we discuss complex data types implemented in Python. We also talk about how Python is an object-oriented programming language and we start writing object-oriented programs in Python. We also write GUI programs in Python so we can create GUI front ends to our applications. Regular expressions and threads are also used in our programs. So Python is, can, can be threaded and we're going to talk about how to do that. We do network programming and write programs to do client-server communication. We also use SQL and we extend Python with C. So the objectives of the course are we're going to write programs using complex data types. And these start very simple to very complicated. Object-oriented programming concepts will be discussed and we'll write a lot of programs using object-oriented. We'll use the TK inner module to write GUI programs so we can create GUI front ends to our applications. Regular expressions are a very powerful feature of Python so we'll talk about how to use those and we'll also talk about how to create threaded Python programs. We'll create network programs in Python, we'll create some classic client server, then we'll move on from there and use the socket server um, module. We'll also use Python to work with SQL databases and create queries and uh, connected databases, which is a lot of fun. And then we'll take Python and we'll write some C functions and extend Python with those C functions. So the course pre prerequisites are, I expect you to have experience in some high-level programming language, such as, such as C, C++, Java, Perl. Also, you should have some knowledge in Python. This is an advanced Python class, so I expect you to have some knowledge in Python. Also have some basic operations in the operating system. So you should be able to perform basic things like copy files, uh, create directories, and so on. And again, you should have taken Python programming. So the topics are, we'll start with some miscellaneous tidbits, and this is going to discuss things like name parameters and lambdas and generators and some other fun things. Then we'll talk about some complex data types from very simple ones like list of lists through arbitrarily complex data types. And those arbitrary nested types can be multi-layered. We'll talk about that. Then we talk about object-oriented as a review. We talked about it a little bit in the basic uh, introduction class, so we'll talk about kind of as a review and then we'll move on to talk about more uh, detailed and advanced topics in object-oriented such as inheritance, operator overloading, and so on. Then we move into the GUI discussion where we talk about the module TK Enter. We create GUI applications. Then we'll use the RE module to discuss regular expressions. We'll talk about the rules of regular expressions, how Python does regular expressions, and how we can integrate them into our programs. We'll also talk about threads, so how can we create threads and join threads and how to synchronize threads and so on. Then we'll talk about network programming in Python, so we'll write some Python uh, network programs from scratch. Then we'll use the socket server module, and the socket server module is going to make our network programming life a whole lot easier. And then we'll discuss some network modules, including one called URL Live, which is a very powerful module allowing us to uh, go out to the internet and pull down files from uh, the web and so on. We'll talk about Python and SQL, so we'll create an SQL database and connect to it, query it. And then we'll talk about how can we extend Python with C. So we'll create some C programs, C functions, and add them into Python. And then we'll use Swig to be a wrapper around some existing C libraries that we have. So the curriculum path for Python is we, uh, we suggest that you start with operating system fundamentals, then do an inter introduction to programming for non-programmers, then move on to the introductory Python programming class into this class here. So this is the advanced Python programming. So it is expected that you know some Python before you take this class. The lab exercises can be downloaded from the download section. So my suggestion is go get those lab exercises. Also, you'll find all the examples that we'll talk about in the class, so I suggest you go grab those. And then as we discuss them, feel free to uh, execute them yourselves, modify them, uh, change them around, make them your own. They're yours to keep and do with as you like. 
And remember that if you have any questions or comments, there's a question comment box at the bottom of the page. Just uh, type in your question, click post comment, and uh, it'll make its way to me and I'll answer them for you. So let's get started with advanced Python programming. 